We just arrived here at the caves in Bethlehem. This is where the shepherds were tending their field, their sheep in the fields at night, and we're having mass in the cave. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed, as in the day of Midian. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I proclaim to you good news of great joy. Today a Savior is born for us, Christ the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Lord. In those days, a decree went out from Caesarea Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius, the governor of Syria, so all went to be enrolled, each of his own town, and Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and family of David to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in the region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in a swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multi multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those to whom his favor rests. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, some of you may be school teachers, perhaps in your life. So, a school teacher in the preschool wanted to explain the meaning of Christmas. The Christmas was coming in close by so the children you know preschool so he the teacher wanted to make sure what does it mean so she explained all that jesus was born how he was born and grew up and all that stuff and finally the school teacher asked a question where is jesus now so one of the clever child got up Maybe Steve, he said, <laughs> he's in heaven. So after that, sometimes Janet got up and said, he's in my heart. But afterwards, there was a boy, whoever it may be, he got up and said, he's in my bathroom. <laughs> All got little disturbed, like even the teacher and the children. Well, Jesus Christ is in the back. So after some time, they took away, the teacher asked, what, what did you say? Why you say that he is in your bathroom? Then the boy said, you know, every day morning, my dad gets up, goes to the bathroom door, bangs on that and says, Jesus Christ, you are still there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so that's why 
words sometimes. <laughs> Let's come away from the bathroom to Bethlehem now. <laughs> So we are here fortunate to have this grotto where the angels appear to the shepherds. So no, no, we, are, we are the shepherds now. And the angels are now appearing to us and informing us that Jesus is born for us. And yes, we have heard yesterday, or never yesterday, where Steve was talking about Mary is born the bread, the bread which was received or conceived as flesh in Nazareth was born, or she gave birth to that bread, which becomes the bread of the living, our living bread for our eternal life in Bethlehem here. So that's what we are celebrating, word becoming flesh, the word becoming flesh, Jesus becoming or coming for coming to us to, us, to save us. So uh, some of us would think, why he has to come? Like we always ask, why Jesus? I mean, God the Father, or God coming down so much to this level, like living the glory of heaven, living everything, came down to us as a human being, although he was 100% divine, 100% human. So that we are learning that human aspect of Jesus, like any one of us. So why he has to do that? So many of the fathers of the church would say the same reality that he didn't want to be anything different. He wanted to be like any one of us, you know, any one of us to live, to experience our pains, our sorrows, our joys and all that so that he can bring everything into the eternal glory. So therefore he didn't want to be something different, someone different from us. So he wanted to be among us, one of us. That's what the thing, that's why he said the sheep listen to the shepherd you know that is the understanding so that's why for john for pope francis says the shep the shepherd must smell or must have the stench of the sheep sheep so that's the understanding of jesus so he's a good shepherd born for us having stench of us so he ha he smells us and he understands us so we can also rightly follow jesus so therefore, my dear friends, we are here to celebrate Christmas before maybe three months in advance now. So then we may be celebrating it in later in December again. So let us be rejoice with Jesus, our Savior, born for us, and uh, let us continue praying that our trip becomes a real uh, challenge for us to experience that and share that joy with others so that we may become true evangelizers that's what we like as Catholics <coughs> we need to become evangelizers proclaiming that what we see what we touch what we experience what we explore let us share that with others let not become shy as we all Catholics think that we are shy people we are covered I don't know whether we are covered but we are shy to share the joy of uh, the risen Lord, our Savior. So let us ask Jesus to help us and we may truly share and experience and explore and reveal that to our friends, our neighbors, or whoever come across. Let that be a challenge for us. Amen. And mild, sleep in